Kenya's main drivers of the economy, agriculture, livestock, tourism, forestry and fisheries are vulnerable to climate change. The agro-industrial waste is mostly dumped or burnt. The unregulated landfilling not only releases methane, a greenhouse gas 21 times stronger than carbon dioxide, but also pollutes rivers and has adverse effects on the well-being of the local communities. Responsible disposal of organic waste is expensive and poses logistical difficulties, but it also represents an excellent resource for production of energy and biofertilizers. Together with the international community, UNIDO made a commitment to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure prosperity for all by 2030 through 17 development goals. UNIDO is the specialized agency of the United Nations that promotes industrial development for poverty reduction, inclusive globalization and environmental sustainability. UNIDO's mandate is fully recognized in SDG 9, which calls to build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. It is in UNIDO's vision that women and men equally lead, participate in, and benefit from inclusive and sustainable industrial development. UNIDO considers gender mainstreaming as a key strategy for achieving gender equality and the empowerment of women. The project was informed by recommendations provided by gender analysis conducted at the inception phase. UNIDO and the Global Environment Facility teamed up to take advantage of the waste to energy potential by creating investment-friendly environment for private sector companies in agro-industrial sector. We have partnered with uh, UNIDO uh, to develop uh, standards in uh, biogas. Uh, the biogas uh, standards uh, we are developing at the, for the farm scale and the industrial scale installations. Uh, the process started uh, by identification of a need uh, by UNIDO that uh, there was a gap in farm scale and industrial scale uh, standards in the country and then uh, they approached CABS and uh, submitted a request uh, for us uh, to develop the standards. Local beneficiaries and experts work side by side to increase knowledge develop technical skills and create information and best practice platform for waste to energy technologies. We have a number of companies uh, which have been supported to process these industrial wastes into as feed stocks for energy generation. For example, talking about tropical power, which is already generating uh, with a capacity of 2 megawatts to, to generate electricity, this is a positive contribution which has been uh, supported by GEF through UNIDO. UNIDO is working towards uh, filling the regulatory gaps by establishing standards for medium and large-scale biogas technology. There are several agro-processing plants spread across the country and currently there, there are several ways in which they manage their waste. For some of the companies, their waste is a nuisance, is dumped in the environment. For others, at a small scale, such as breweries, it is used for feeding livestock. But the majority of the agro-processing industries have a charge with managing waste because they just dump it in the environment. At the same time, three agro-industrial sites are receiving incentives based on their installed capacity. Olivado generates both power and heat from the waste of production of avocado oil located in Muranga County, where agriculture is driving the local economy. The electricity produced is satisfying the demand of the company, while heat is used for heating the water for processing. They are making use of all the byproducts 
Solids are used for biofertilizer, while the liquid is recyclable. We're able to not only produce electricity, but other products such as um, methane or carbon four oxide and um, fertilizer that can still be applied to, to other farms and other fields. We are proud of ourselves for having a circular economy, that everything we do goes back to the soil. We harvest from the trees and we give back to the trees. Lake Naivash's serene sceneries attract local and international tourists alike. The region is also a proud producer of flowers, mostly wild famous roses. Tropical Power uses waste from the nearby rose farms in Naivasha to generate electricity to inject it to the national grid. At the same time, it offsets the equivalent of 758 tons of carbon dioxide GHG emissions per year. Initially, when we started this process, our projections showed that the feedstock that we were going to get was going to be consistent and of, of a certain quantity. But uh, over time, unfortunately, the feedstock situation has kept fluctuating. Now, with the UNIDO grant, we've been able to sort of even that out by now choosing to use another supplementary feedstock that we never really looked at initially at the initial stage. This is rose waste. So right now I would say our revenues are more or less consistent. We have a, quite a consistent production and consistency is quite useful in a biogas plant. You don't really want fluctuations. Through Unido grant, we have uh, you know, uh, successfully converted now 200,000 uh, liters of fossil fuel into carbon neutral biomass energy per month. We also um, saved like 7,500 tons of carbon dioxide offset per year. Since these boilers are biomass, which uses biomass briquettes, we encourage uh, community to bring their agro waste to burn in our boilers. We also employed local community people to run this project. Through this project, we employed uh, more than 100 direct and indirect employment. So far under the project, 40 county staff were trained on energy planning, 12 draft energy plans were prepared, 5 staff from Kirdi were trained in WTE technology in China, 5 Kirdi staff attended training on biogas laboratory technology, county energy planning manual was developed, 56 policy makers were trained and shared knowledge on waste to energy solutions, agenda impact assessment was conducted at inception phase, fully equipped biogas laboratory at Kirdi, fully equipped information best practice platform at Kirdi, development of biogas standards at KEBS, 12 lecturers of Jomo Kenyatta trained to be trainers on energy plans. UNIDO came in and uh, it has provided us with the necessary tools, uh, equipment, um, uh, facilitations, which are, uh, have enabled us to move a step further in realizing the goal of, of, uh, of having uh, waste to energy technologies in our country um, being successful. Looking at the impacts of the what has been supported by UNIDO in the agro-processing is the benefit associated with the reduction of greenhouse gases such as CO2 or carbon dioxide and this contributes now to the national NDC objectives under the Paris Agreement and therefore these efforts have helped the country respond to the mitigation aspects that are required within that uh, framework of the Paris Agreement. Mm -hmm.